What is up, YouTube? This is Zach, Sam, and Grayson out hey. here in Frisco, Texas. We're going to be doing a installation for a customer that owns all of his equipment. We're just going to get it set up for him and get it wired. So I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing today, and then we'll get this work started. This is where the screen's going to go, and we have some tower speakers. So uh, the customer does not have HDMI wired into the wall. So what we're gonna be doing, because this is an exterior wall here, as well as this is an exterior wall, we're gonna be cutting a hole right behind the screen and drilling up through the framing. Sam, you wanna explain the way that that's done? Absolutely, so we cut the hole so we can fit the drill uh, because at the top of each one of your walls, you have two two by fours on top of each other. So in order to drill through those to reach the attic, we need to get our drill as straight as possible, just right underneath the beam. So we cut a hole to fit our drill, drill up into the attic, and now we have access. And we're gonna do that exact same procedure for the surrounds and the surround rears. Uh, what we're gonna be running today is a 7.1. Customer has these energy dipole bipole speakers. So basically the way this works is he's got one tweeter and woofer firing down towards the target seating area and this other tweeter that's gonna bounce off the ceiling uh, hitting uh, more towards the middle of the seating area. And these will be mounted as the surrounds and the surround rears. Now the next part of this install is the projector. So the projector is gonna be mounted back here. We're using an old 8350 1080p projector from Epson. Customer supplied. Everything with this job is customer supplied other than our labor. So you have the Romax right here. This is what the home is built with. Uh, Romax is pretty standard for residential use. And then we have a power outlet here. Bring everything up to code, plate it, and then a pass-through box. So game plan is, is that we're gonna mount the projector into the stud, which Sam had already found in the ceiling. And then right behind it, we're gonna cut one single gang hole for power, one single gang hole for pass-through, and then we're gonna run that HDMI to the front of the room, and then run the Romex back to the service outlet in the attic. All right, guys, keep in mind that we are your home theater dealer. If you would like to purchase any home theater equipment, we have you covered. In this particular circumstance, customer is providing everything, but we have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee on all home theater equipment. You need a TV, you need an amplifier, you need speakers, you just give us a call and we'll get it shipped right out to you anywhere in the nation. All right, guys, well, we're going to go ahead and get this uh, system started and we'll update you as we complete the work. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we're here in the customer's attic. Uh, I'm on top of the raised portion of the ceiling, and I'm checking to see right now, in between the roof line and the raised ceiling, we really don't have clearance. We can't fit a drill through there. It's really, it's, it would take several hours just to try and drill two holes. So rather than take a long time and uh, <laughs> cost us a lot of energy and hours, uh, we're going to instead cut holes in the drywall and drill up from the, uh, wall into the attic and catch the cables from there. Alrighty, so we have our um, electrical line tracing tool. I'm going to plug it into this outlet. As we can see, it's a well-functioning outlet. We've got two green lights. I'm going to now take this end. I'm going to go down to the breaker box. I'm going to track down our uh, source. I'm going to flip it off so we can uh, tie in our Romex for our projector. Alright guys, it's coming along swimmingly. It's taking a little bit longer than we expected, but that sometimes happens. We've got our fish rod up here. Sam's taping all of our lines to it. And then we can send it down the wall here to the home run. We have our surround right done. Surround back right. Projector. HDMI for, to the projector. It's a little messy, guys. <laughs> but we got that's why we put down drop cloths. Surround back left here. And then over here, we have our surround back right. Now, we're just waiting on Sam. He's gonna tape it in a line so that it all comes down really smooth and doesn't get snagged at the top of the, what's it called? The header, the double beam header. All right guys, Sam got all of our speakers mounted, all leveled and equal distances from the wall. We're gonna have a drywall guy come back another day He's gonna call one out and have him fix it. 
and then the same over here. Now, what are we doing up here? We measured, we got our studs and we measured with the screen is gonna sit an inch off of the top uh, board here. What do they call this? Trim? Trim piece? Yeah, wood trim piece. You can see, and then we did another three fourths of an inch for where this, where the screen mounts to. All right, guys, this is the completion of the project. We're gonna just show you everything we did today. Let's do it. Jump right in. So at the front of the room, we have the customer. This is all customer supplied equipment. Keep that in mind. This is like an elite screen or something. 120, 120 inch. inch. We got it all up there and centered. We have our front right wired under the carpet. Energy, all, he's using all energy speakers, a sub. If you see in the front, the customer opted to hook up all his own equipment and line his projector. So it's a little bare right now, but he's gonna fix that. The front left, front right, center, and subwoofer. Here in the surrounds, we were able to hide the wires in the wall, seeing it was an interior wall. This is the surround left. These are bipolar speakers, or that's a surround right rather. Surround back right, surround back left, surround back, and then the projector, which we're about to plug in and all that jazz. He's going to have to have a sheetrock guy, or he said he might do it himself, come out and fix this. But that is the end result. I think it came out pretty clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it turned out. Let well. us know what you guys think. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this video, mm -hmm. found it instructive and helped you out at your own home. Or if you want to give us a call, we can help you. If you're in the Dallas area. Dallas area. Also, keep in mind, we do sell all home theater equipment, TVs, projectors, any, anything you might need yeah. with a free shipping and a low price guarantee. As well as if you're out of the state, we do tax free, tax free on all equipment. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind. But if you are in the Dallas area, we would be happy to service you. Yeah. Give us a call, text, email. Mm -hmm. Well guys, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below. This has been Grayson and Sam with Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching.